Okay, jumping right on in into the skincare routine. First thing that you wanna do before touching your face is go ahead and wash your hands thoroughly with warm water and soap. So to remove my makeup, I have been using this um, Bronner's, Dr. Bronner's um, peppermint soap. I've been using this stuff for years off and on, but I don't know, it just has that tingling feeling or sensation, kind of like Noxzema Classic Clean, but not as strong. Um, and this does get my makeup off pretty well with just like one squirt of the soap. But what you have to do, if you use this Dr. Bronner soap, you have to dilute it with water. So you see that I um, squirted some into my hand and then I ran it under the faucet. Have to dilute it with soap, I mean with water, cause it is kind of strong. Then I'm just gonna wipe away any um, like leftover mascara or whatever with a little rag. Then we're gonna move on to the Noxzema Ultimate Clear Cream or I don't know, it's not a cream. I don't know what this, what this type of formula is. Anyway, really gonna rub that in. I mean, rub it in thoroughly. I want you to look like Jason, okay? Rub it in. So next, I'm gonna go ahead and use my Clarisonic Mia 2. And y'all have seen this device several times before. Um, I just followed the beeps. If you aren't familiar with the Clarisonic, I'll link my previous skincare video that kind of goes into how to use it, um, the price and all of that. So after I rinse off the Noxzema, I go ahead and pat dry my face with a paper towel just so there's like no cross bacteria or whatever. And I'm taking the cotton pad and the Dickinson's Witch Hazel and applying that to my face. Y'all remember that little trick I showed you like a year ago with the, you know, the cotton pads. If it's not clean, then you need to start your um, routine over with because clearly you still have dirt, debris, makeup whatever if it's clean keep on going now if this is like a regular night or a regular morning and i'm getting ready to like put my makeup on or just go to bed or whatever i would go ahead and use the neutrogena um pink grapefruit moisturizer but i'm really trying to kill these blemishes so i'm going in with some tea tree oil now tea tree oil helps with um clearing acne like really kind of like drying it out so I've been applying this basically every night for the past week and I see that it helps a little bit but maybe I need like a different brand of tea tree and I'm really trying to grow my eyebrows out and my eyelashes my eyelashes grow way faster than my eyebrows so I'm going to use this Jamaican black castor oil with doo-doo I sign soap hey y'all so I haven't done a skincare video in a minute so let me explain i'm gonna make this quick first of all i know i look like fall i said that in my other video i don't know which one's up first so i got my hair wet in the shower so my hair is puffy my braid is it's here it ain't laying flat but it's here anyway and then i'm cold so i put on the jacket and yeah I, I tried to put on a little bit of face and I tried to match. That's it. That's all y'all getting from me right now. So anyway, my skin has been showing out. One pimple go away, three more come. Look like cystic acne, blemish comes. It goes away, two more in the same spot come. It's like, what's going on? You know, like most part this summer, I have been trying to do keto 
keep falling off the bandwagon. And when I went on my trip to New York, and clearly I was not, I was eating whatever I wanted. Cause I mean, it's vacation, <laughs> it's vacation. Like what am I eating healthy for on vacation? When next time I'll be in New York eating, you know, New York hot dogs and New York style pizza and stuff. So keto what, what is ketosis? I don't know it. You're eating healthy and your skin is thriving and you start eating, you know, a lot of bread and sugary stuff. And I don't even have much of a big sweet tooth. And I don't really drink that much soda, but eating clean, eating not so clean. Like, so I don't know if that's another reason why, why my skin is like up and down, up and down, up and down. And it's not like, again, I don't drink a lot of soda. I don't eat a lot of chocolate. So I'm like, it, it probably is something to do with like, you know, my diet. But then I'm like, that can't be it so i don't know i have been literally having my hair in a bun or a ponytail literally for like the last two three months hair crochet braids for like three weeks that was it like i haven't been using a lot of hair products and it's like right in the middle of my forehead like and now it's going down like almost to like the bridge of my nose like I just noticed three triangle antichrist type of stuff going on I don't know like my skin is just not where it used to be this one it's only been like a good month and I've been going literally between the two so hey maybe I'm stopping my skin from being great by not sticking with one product you know i don't know i'm still gonna keep using noxema though okay so y'all already know how i feel about noxema classic clean um original deep cleansing cream i have been using this up literally for about a year plus now and i absolutely love it but i don't know if i am needing more active ingredients for my skin and when I say more active ingredients, that's like uh, chemicals. I'm still going to buy this. I've still been using it. Like this one is pretty much gone. Like it is gone. I can't even get like a cheek cleansed with this. Like it's gone. And I'm going to get another bottle because even if I get something else that really helps my acne, I'm still going to use this just because for one, I feel like it again has that deep pore cleansing. And that tingling sensation, I feel like it just, the eucalyptus in this just makes me feel like my pores are getting clean. But I don't know, maybe I haven't been using this enough because I have been using another Nyxema product. The Ultimate Clear Daily Deep Pore Cleanser and it, effective, blah, blah, blah. it effectively removes dirt and oil. So, I mean, both of these are Noxzema products, and I do see my skin clearing up extremely slowly, like week progression, not day by day. Like, the pimples on my forehead, they were much bigger and like literally from the left to the right on my forehead, nothing but pimples, and now it's clearing up. So, I mean, I think this stuff is working because literally this is all I've been using is Noxzema. It's wet. Ugh. So, yeah. I have been using nothing but Noxzema. I just think it's me. I don't think it's the product per se. I just think my skin is like forget what you want. I'm going to do what I want. Kick. So, I don't know. But the difference between the deep pore cleanser and the classic clean is for one, the packaging. This, this is eight ounces, six ounces. This is 12 ounces. It's more of a cream. This is more of a, I don't know how you wanna call it, like a, it's not a cream. I don't know how to explain this. This is not a cream. I feel like if you use too much water with this, it's not going to be as effective as you need it to be. But this, it like it kind of like lays into the skin, and I just massage it in. Pr 
price wise they're still both under like six dollars at Walmart Target CVS Family Dollar place like stuff so. place like that places like that this one has a tingling tingling sensation this one doesn't have a sensation at all this one has a scent this just smells like eucalyptus this one has a stronger sense I guess like it opens up your your sinuses or whatever like if you stuffy you can use this to like open up like wash your face and I, I promise you you're gonna breathe a little bit better this not so much it almost smells like perfume that's about it as far as these two Noxzinger products y'all know I ride for this one I just really kind of wanted to you know compare the classic clean to the ultimate clear so it's still rocking pimple face and all you know blemishes and whatnot I'm still gorgeous hey so yes yeah.